there's that red steel that I said down there. It probably came from the roof holding a, a unit together. I said, uh, and there's the unit. Right about where the, the uh, collapse is, right about here. Coming across and around, leaving this intact. And this is all gone. All right. So people keep they, they keep pushing me towards, look at this, you know, it, it was sinking, it was sinking. Well, it may have been sinking and reported sinking some time ago. But the new report, this Derek, this, this is their attorney for the for the association, this, this uh, director. Um, it says a report on the inspection was completed in the past few months. So it was done and submitted to town authorities, said uh, director. Uh, I hope I'm getting that right, who also said he did not have a copy. The post requested the report from the town, which acknowledged the requ request. I, I find it amazing he doesn't have a copy because he was the, their attorney for, sur for Surfside, I think. Uh, Director said that the report's findings were fairly typical. So he read it, obviously. For a building of its age... Okay, thanks, everyone. We'll be up in just a minute. And did not ca cast doubt on the structural integrity. So remember, this is the, the attorney for them. Um, he is, let's see if I can find it for you guys. Um, um, here it is over here, Champagne Towers. Uh, okay, they were about the complex. They're just reaching. Everybody's reaching everywhere except for what the data is. The uh, That the 40-year-old inspection is what Florida passed. Everybody's got to do it. They had an attorney. They had their inspection report done. You know, you can look, you can search for all you want. They had inspections done. Um, yes, Ivanka Trunk lives just, uh, it was just renting just a few, whatever, close by. All right. No, it's not Harp. I understand it might be Harp, but no, I don't think Harp is trying to kill, uh, you know, knock, knock uh, um, what's his name out the box mentally by killing his daughter. I don't think that that, that that's happening. Um, so then we get away from that. So then uh, here is, yes, I look for the violations. There are no violation, building code violations for that structure. Um, back to this one. So the Kenneth S. Director, a lawyer involved in the project. Uh, the building has been about, about, we had been about to go into extensive repairs. Oh, that's right. I just blew the uh, this one tonight. No, I didn't. So, the uh, you can see that. Uh, let's see if I can go this way and then right turn. You can see the. Uh, hmm. Can I go the right way? Here it is. So, I can only go so much. If you look up, yes, you can find some spalling and and, and cracks like that on the structure here, here, top floor. You can. Uh, find it in multiple places you can see where there's there's shutters protective shutters are 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 not present everywhere there they are there and it's like they just came off here and they're there you know there is some over here the not here so you can see that the upkeep was not one of the one of the uh you know the, the general maintenance wasn't a high concern obviously but that's the problem with these condo associations there in Florida, they uh, they often make this type of uh, issue. Uh, so this looks like a, a cut, so exploratory hole right there. Um, but there are other non-exploratory holes, such as this should be a punch hole here somewhere, pretty damn big, um, right there. So uh, it's interesting that all the, all the photographs, images right here. It doesn't have, I don't have anything on the porch that I can see from the, close by. So that's nice. Rental property, uh, you had a rent. It's no short-term rentals in six months or greater. A minimum fees in there. Here's the, you know, the shutters. Like I said, here's the shutters. Um, some are some are working. Some are not. You know, um, or, or in place and some are not. Uh, yeah. So you you get some 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 very small. I've seen worse than this. I've seen a lot worse than this on on condos in Florida. I've seen worse than, than than things like right here, like these these holes here and exposed rebar. That that's that's just a little bit of spalling. I've seen it huge ass columns exposed. Look like they're working, like they're tearing it apart, but yet it's just exposed. Oh, look up uh, Fountain Blue um, in Panama City, and you'll see what I'm talking about. That's crazy. 
Um, I remember it, the structure now. So this was, I never forgot that structure. Because uh, it had so much potential. And look at this. But they had some, they got some terribly exposed columns. And over here is some spalling. But that's the deck. That's the uh, porch, rather. They all exposed to the elements, you know, and whatever reason it's spalled. It's 40 years old. So, uh, like the man said, uh, the report just shows, um, oh, yeah, uh, he says that African Americans don't get, aren't getting vaccinated because of Tuskegee Airmen. For people. There's a reason why it's been harder to get African Americans initially to get vaccinated. Because there used to be an experiment on the Tuskegee Airmen and others. He reached back to Tuskegee Airmen. Listen people have memories. He said, people, people have, have memory. Well, I, nobody's got a memory that old man to remember that shit. What are you talking about? I think it, I, I looked it up. You had to go back to 1972. So you got to be, you know, born 1950. Those Who is not getting, he's saying that people that can remember Tuskegee Airmen aren't getting vaccinated. Long memories. It's awful hard as well to get Latinx. So you, my fellow Latinx, my fellow followers, my my Latinx people, uh, you know, um, you got problems. Listen. To get Latinx vaccinated as well. Why? They're... Anyway, look, that's just on Twitter. So back to this. Um, so there's that big unit, and the red is there. So uh, so the director said there's nothing there, all right? There's nothing structural integrity. The director said the report's findings were fairly typical for a building of its age and did not cast out on its structural integrity. There was nothing in the report that it would have indicated a life safety concern. And that's their attorney. Now, yes, I know about it having some settlement issues, um, but often buildings uh, will, will settle after they're in there. But if you get a settlement in one column, that could be enough. We talked about that in like the third video I made about one column being could stress it. But you got, you're going to have some indicators. You're going to have the cracked floor, the windows that are broken, the doors that won't closed, things like that. And and this this is an indicating. This is not indicating that they just had a full report. All right. So we can sort of leave that alone now. Um, so this would be the Miami, uh, um, hold on, Brucey, I'll go and say, Miami building collapse. So, they won't do spell check over here. They, I'm used to saving me, my misspelling on purpose, and then Google fixes it, but they don't fix it over here in, in Twitter. Um, where's the fire department? The, uh, fire department, where the hell is it? Oh, here they are. Um, this is our hotel. We are right there on the second floor. The building, one of these huge buildings, gone. Right here beside us. The craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Look at the building. It's gone. It was however many stories. It's just the parking. The whole building gone. It was beautiful. Okay. Door. Okay, and there goes the camera. Okay, this is some interesting stuff here. Um, yeah, all right, so where the hell is the Miami, um, fire department? Let me try to find their image real quickly. Um, yeah, Miami Florida, Florida fire department, where are you? Oh, yeah, um, So it's down this chain. Hold on. You always click the notice. Yes, the prop. Like a thing. Okay, where are you? There they go. So let me come here and find their photographs. They have some photographs. I want to show you the red. Um, 
set up the follow-up report at 8 o'clock sucked. There was nothing. Really? Okay. There's like four in there we go. Uh, and here I believe. Right. This red right here, see this red uh, steel? I said it might have been holding an AC unit. And that's the red steel and here it oh great. So move over where? Where'd you go? Uh, right there. So there's a red steel that got ripped out. And the AC unit went with it. So right there, so this, so this wasn't anchored to, to can't hold that cantilever, air conditioner, hold the air conditioner cantilever up, where it was anchored over here, and it, this side winds. Interesting. Um, and those units went out. I think these units stayed. All right, so I don't have, I know about the, the roof and all that. I, it was done. The roof was completed already. And they, in fact, they said, they, they say, it's reported that it passed inspection. So the roof was completed, passed inspection. Let's see. Uh, um, nope, I guess it's not in this article. The roof was completed. Uh, uh, Mr. Director said that he had seen nothing to suggest that the collapse had anything to do with the issues identified in the engineering review, adding that any waterfront building at that age would have some level of corrosion and, and concrete deterioration, which it was small, the, the uh, spalling. Um, so this guy is their, is their person. Uh, where is it now? So the, it's called the towers. So the other thing is it's owned by this guy that I already went down that rabbit hole or managed by that rabbit hole, res rabbit hole. Um, can't find his name now. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just that there's nothing to see here, in other words, about that roof repair. It passed inspection. It's not saying that, you know, I, I don't, it, well, I do find it kind of interesting. They did whatever roof they did, they, that, this is what I find interesting, is that looking into this photograph here, I'm like, well, did they complete the roof? Because this shit looks beat up old right here. This looks like the roof material. But they did a partial repair because this is whack. Now, with that said, there's also the thickness of it. it appears to be the thickness of it. Um, but I don't, I don't know what's going on here. This is maybe that lower roof. There's multiple roof heights on this thing. And so there's a roof here, here. There's one down here, there's one up here, there's one over here. There's multiple levels of roofing um, on this structure. All right, so I'm going to end the video and just say that, no, I do not think it had anything to do with this, the ground sinking unless you can show this, this, unless that ground sinking could show one, this going down. But to do that, you're going to crack this window over time, it, unless it was just immediate immediate, um, um, let's see, um, 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 not chronic, but, uh, acute failure that this one had, of all the loads on here are distributing, that under here is happens to be taking more load than the rest, and it, and it couldn't push them all down together, because they get some interaction here, these are all locked in, you're not just getting this one to drop down on its own, even if I, if I undermine it a bit, and I say it undermine, let's call it like 10 foot under the base of this, it's still uh, skin friction that's holding this up. I, I, but we have to verify that. So you undermine it by 10 feet, you still, you still got the pressure of the earth, can, uh, the uh, surface tension holding that column up. It's not really loaded like it's going down to a bedrock and, and holding. So this building, let's, let's, let's see if I can, I need to verify that this, no way in hell went down to bedrock in Florida. So let me just look that up. Um, this is called the Surfside, right? Surfside um, uh, hotels. Do they get Surfside, Flor Miami, Florida? Um, bedrock depth. 
Let me just try this. Um, who's this? This is Bay News. Uh, Twitter feed to your. Um, Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's your comprehensive plan 2018. Yeah, so they, they, they deal with their soil survey, day, day count, etc. I don't think they're that stupid. And I know it's built on a landfill. But remember, it just had a structural report done. Now, it wasn't all probing, you know. I don't think they brought in anything to test the soil again or anything else. But he looked for... The telltale signs that, that uh, the structure is not is not is failing is is doing odd things like the cracked tile, pop tile floors, walls, windows broken, things like that, and apparently none of that was indicated. All right, I gotta go. Bye.